Giuliani, you're just back for a trip from the vice president. He went over to offer moral support and some financial support for the Ukrainian government. Let's listen to the president here. He's traveling in Asia now at a news conference overnight with the Japanese prime minister. Uh, president Obama making clear that if Russia doesn't back down and there's no indication it will, more sanctions are coming. We have been preparing for the prospect that we're going to have to engage in further sanctions. Uh, those are teed up. Um, it requires some technical work, and it also requires coordination with other countries. Teed up, the president says. Obviously, there is some work. You have to put the language down. You have to work with the European allies. Hillary Clinton, the former Secretary of State, also said yesterday she thinks the sanctions should be tightened and widened. And she says, I think Russia will pay a big price for this. First, let's start within the administration. Uh, what's the argument between going to like full bore sanctions now or gradually amping them up? Well, it's very clear that the administration, the president, they don't think that there's going to be a change in Putin's calculus right now. There won't be a change of behavior before they get to this next round of sanctions. But they've kind of been out game over the last week. Geneva, the accord last week, it really bought Putin some time here. So uh, yes, it looks like these, this next round of sanctions will be within a matter of days. We're not talking weeks, possibly by the end of this week. And then we're probably looking at other rounds of sanctions. And the big issue to look at is these, the threat of the sectoral sanctions, so hitting Russia's gas industry, hitting the energy industry, hitting the banking sector, that's where Putin will really feel the pain because ultimately for him uh, it comes down to his own stature in the world and that is based on Russia's economic standing. But that is a process that you just laid out if you understand the bureaucracy. That's months. Yeah. That's yeah. months. So they're not, they're, they don't see any short-term resolution here. And you heard uh, Hillary Clinton right. say that the U.S. and Europeans, it's going to require some right. patience on their part. Uh, Peter, do you see any space between the former Secretary of State and her former boss, the current president? She's out of office, obviously, so she's free to use uh, different language sometimes. The president has to say we're coordinating, we're working, they're teed up, but we've got some work to do. She can say tightened and widened. Is, is that a difference or is it just tougher, maybe the rhetoric's a little tougher? We, we've talked about this on this show before. I mean, Hillary Clinton isn't just a former Secretary of State. She's one of the most famous people in the world and a representative of this people, uh, of the United States to people around the world, no matter what her position is. Uh, on this specific instance, there's not uh, a ton of, of daylight that we're seeing. Um, but, you know, she, she does choose her words carefully. Um, and the, the only time that I can remember so far that there's been a ton of daylight or she's caused a headache for the administration uh, on the foreign policy front was when uh, she made that Holocaust uh, comparison in a private fundraiser in California a few weeks ago. So I think she learned from that and is being fairly cautious when it comes to American foreign policy. Well, you say she chooses her words carefully.